Hello everyone and welcome to the Chengdu vlog. After taking the bullet train and getting a good night's sleep, we decided to head off and go to the Leishan Grand Buddha, which in many respects is kind of the Mount Rushmore of China. As you can see, it's a very large statue built into the, the side of the mountain with a very steep stairwell to get down to it. It was quite the hike, but well worth it. Once we finished that, we, we took a short little walk into town where we had a nice little lunch, and then we decided to take the boat and see the Grand Buddha from the river. And that was really interesting. They had all kinds of boats that were going up and down the river, and you could see the, the Buddha and the city and uh, just the, the general kind of countryside from the boat, and it was nice and relaxing and a bit of a, a cooler ride. Once we finished that, we headed back into town and went to a dinner with a show. And during the, the dinner, we got to see uh, several different performances. There was a lady pouring tea uh, in more of a dance interpretive style. And there was several other uh, fun dances and even the fire show. The most uh, interesting of the, the shows was probably the face-changing guy. He did all kinds of different face-changing acts as we went. And once we finished up dinner, we went down to the Jinli downtown market where we were able to explore the nightlife of the town and see some of the touristy type shops and uh, see where all the locals come down and eat and have a good time. The next morning we drove to the Panda Sanctuary in Chengdu and were able to walk through the, the, the park's gardens and see some of the different panda enclosures. Uh, the first we saw was the smaller red pandas and as you walked further through the park you were able to start getting the bigger and bigger enclosures where eventually you got to the black and white pandas. We were able to see a lot of them right during the, the feeding time, so many of them were up and kind of out and about doing things. Our guide told us they spend most of the day sleeping, so luckily we were able to get a good view of them. Once we finished up there, we headed out of the park and went straight for our flight to Beijing, China. And Beijing is where we'll be having the competition. We have a couple days before registration, but we're well on our way, and we'll talk to you some more once we get into Beijing. Thank you. Hey man. What you eating there? It's a soybean flavored hey. popsicle. Hey! <laughs> Our bus is right here. How's that taste? I mean, like a popsicle. It's kind of a little, uh, what do you call it? Grainy. Grainy? Yeah. Do you normally like your popsicles Like, it's, it's not creamy. No, no. Not normally. This is okay, though. Like, definitely, I'm eating it still, so. Okay. I think I'm done. <laughs> you're not, you're gonna eat your whole popsicle? 